I'm sorry, but even though we're starting on the title screen, I couldn't make a joke with the theme song this time. Hey everybody, it's Mechmaster14. Welcome back to more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last episode, we traveled into the Chum Bucket Laboratory, defeated the giant robot SpongeBob, and put an end to all the rampaging robots in Bikini Bottom. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the bonus content that we can see now. I mean, we could have seen this stuff before we finished the game, but I just chose to wait until after we finished the game to show it, since that's normally how we, that's how most Let's Players show bonus content. But first, I'm going to be showing you the multiplayer mode. There is local multiplayer, host public online multiplayer, host private online multiplayer, join multiple. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff here is what I'm saying. So, I'm just going to do local multiplayer. This is when you do it with someone in a room, or with someone with you. And also, I'm not going to be doing this with anyone but myself, because, I'm going to be honest, the multiplayer isn't all that exciting. So, you can do this between seven characters. You have Spongebob, Patrick, Sandy, those are the three main ones. But you also have Gary, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Robot Plankton. Uh, just for the heck of it, I'm going to choose Robot Plankton and Mr. Krabs. So starting things off before we actually get going, each each character has two main attacking abilities. They can do their normal attack, which is the uh, that would be the Y button if you're playing on the Switch, and they also have a pounding attack, which is the B button. And each character has a different attack, like Mr. Krabs here. He actually uses the sword for a standard attack, and he just does a butt bounce with his grounding attack. So anyways, to get this started, both players have to get on this platform. And Robot Squibbert awakens. And when I first saw that Robot Squibbert was actually in this game, I was hoping it would be outside of just multiplayer, but no. Also, when you're doing the multiplayer mode, I think you get a random music track from the game. Because I remember when I did this earlier with my friend, I think we got the track for... I think it was either for Goo Lagoon or Dutchman's Graveyard. So this is basically what the multiplayer is. It's a gauntlet of robots. And you just have to go across each island, so... And if you die, there really is no penalty, you just respawn after a few seconds. And the goal is to beat your friends in the, in the challenge to get the most shiny objects of anyone. So, yeah. Each island is three waves, and I believe there's like 30 or something islands. And as you go on and on, the islands actually get much longer. So, like, eventually it's going to take like five minutes to complete one island. So that's why I'm not going to show the entire multiplayer. I'm just going, I just wanted to show you guys what the multiplayer was like. And that's basically what it's like. It's just a robot gauntlet that gets harder with each wave and you just have to compete with your friend to get the most shiny object. Now I'm actually going to switch my controllers because I actually had to... I just switched up my controllers like as you just saw. Why is this not working? Alright, there we go. I had to switch up my controllers to, like, just one Joy-Con to control for the multiplayer, because that's how it works on the Switch. Which is fine in the context of just the Switch, because... Or just the multiplayer, because in that... In the multiplayer mode, you just have to uh, move, jump, and use your two attacks. By the way, there are no, like, super, like, bubble bash attacks where you shoot up into the air or, uh, bubble bowls or anything like that. It's just the standard attacks. Also, I hate how long the loading screen still takes. Anyways, in here, oh, we actually... We're right in front of it. Okay. So, we're actually right in the middle of Bikini Bottom. The area that I wanted to show you right here is the police station. So we head inside. And... 
Okay, apparently there aren't any shiny objects here, but we can annoy this fish. <laughs> basically, the police station is basically just an area where you can view robot things. Like, I believe this is the robot viewer. Step on the metal square in front of the viewer to activate it. You can use the viewer to read the case files of captured robots. So you can actually see the files on Bikini Bomb's Most Wanted, which is every single robot we fought in the entire game, and Plankton. So fodder, nifty electrical touch attack. Not tall enough to ride most roller coasters, but more vicious than a pack of rabid clams. I almost read that as claws. Hammer. Impressive meat byproduct attack. Smarter than it looks. Goes well with broccoli and nice Chianti. Ch Chianti? I don't know that word. Tartar. Uncanny flying tartar sauce attack. Smells somewhat better than stale fish. G Love. Has the most vicious smack attack. Hands down, expert foot measure, lemon squeezer, and most del does delightful hand puppet shows. I'm very bad at reading. Chuck. Annoying missile attack. Likes to throw tantrums and other various mi military grade ordnance. Not terribly friendly. This is actually how I know the names of most of these robots. Bombot. Bot follow you. Go boom. This is just the bot to get for the friend you like the least. <laughs> friend you like the lead. I'm not gonna go over all these names because they're actually quite long, so I'll just pop them up for a quick second so you can pause and read them. And by the way, this is actually how I know the official names of most of these robots. Yeah, this one has a dumb name, the Bzzzt Bot. Lemon scented gamma ray attack, somewhat unpredictable, borrows money without returning it, blasts things at random. Borrows money without returning it, that's just unforgivable. Chomp Bot. Arf. Arf dog. And Plankton has a funny description. Plankton is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people sing, hacking computers. Uh, never mind that last bit. Plankton's the best. I don't know if any of these descriptions were updated from the previous version, but I do know for a fact that Plankton's was changed. And hey, look, they have a, snap they have a screenshot from the show on the wall. And you may think that... The only other, the only other area that we need to visit now is the movie theater because, well, that's that's one of the areas I visited in the bonus episode for the original version of this Let's Play. But we're actually not going to be doing that, and here is why. Well, I'll show you why when the can actually load. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. So we move all the way down here. We have to, get, we have to buy a ticket to May get into the theater. May I help you? We need 40,000 shiny objects still to get into the theater. When I first saw there was no sign on here, I thought maybe the movie theater was free, but it's not. And by the way, it's not even worth the 40,000 shiny objects, because in the original version of this game, you actually saw concept art from uh, the beta versions of this game, and you actually saw unused enemies. But, in here, it's just random screenshots of gameplay, it's just, just random characters. And I know because I've actually seen what is in the movie theater in like, another YouTube video, so it's just not that exciting. However, to make up for the loss of the movie theater... I'm going to show you guys my favorite spot for grinding shiny objects. Because I do know that some of you are going to want to complete the whole Mr. Crab Golden Spatula mission. And I am going to show you guys my favorite spot for grinding shiny objects. The first thing we have to do is actually get to the top of the castle. I mean, I guess you could have gone... I guess I could have gone into the Blue Lagoon Cave mission and then just uh, went back from there. But in order to actually get to my favorite like spot for finding any objects, well, we're still down to one underwear after the robot SpongeBob fight. But first, once we get up here, this is where we can start grinding shiny objects. What I like to do is. Fire it shines! Like here. 
that gives you that, super monster presents. combo. You can go up here, destroy this large group of Tiki's. Then go over here again and destroy this large group of Tiki. I mean, look, we got like a, we got like a thousand shiny objects from that alone. So yeah, that's my favorite spot for grinding shiny objects. And you just keep you can just keep jumping off and respawning here if you get the checkpoint. But yeah, that is all that I wanted to. That's all that I wanted to show for the bonus video. Next time on my YouTube channel, I can't say next time on SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated because this is the last episode. Uh, we're going to be playing another game that I've played a ton of times over as a child, just like this one. So, I hope you guys will join me for that in probably about a week to two weeks. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and by proxy this remade series, can't believe it only took one year for me to finally start remaking Let's Plays. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and by proxy the entire series, and with that, I'll see you guys next time. Mechmaster, out. Roll, roll, rolly sponge.